I'm George Craven. So you wish to start farming with geese. What should you do? What should you not do? This is a short insert just to point out certain features that you may need uh, to bear in mind. Uh, like any business, there is nothing easy about it. Easy money doesn't fall out of the sky. You have to work for it. And in the case of geese especially, uh, the most important thing perhaps is the cost involved, as with any other business. You have to watch what we call in business the bottom line. And what is this all about? If you look at the sketch, you'll see what I'm trying to explain. Uh, this is an income statement, a very abbreviated income statement. IS is for income statement. It's usually for a certain period of time. It could be a week, a month, often a year. And then you've got your revenue or your income, your gross income. And the next line is cost of sales, which simply means how much it cost you to produce what you sold at the price, at the sales at price. And the difference between the two is what is called generally your gross profit. And that gross profit percentage is very important. The higher it is, the better it is, the better you can use the gross profit to pay your fixed expenses and then still have a bottom line profit. On the other hand, if your cost of sales or cost of production in the case of geese farming uh, is too high, it means that the gross profit may not be adequate enough to cover the fixed expenses and therefore you will have no profit. And this can easily happen. How? Well, for example, if you have to buy all your food for the geese, then it turns out that the cost of production is so expensive that you have no uh, profit left at the end of the day. Which simply means that if you are thinking of farming with geese, you should preferably have natural or artificial grazing. Grass is very well suited for geese, they love it. And if you've got that, uh, then your cost of production will be much lower, your gross profit will be much higher, and your bottom line, your profit, your net profit, will be so much the better. So this very briefly is what it's all about. If you want to know more about geese farming, do yourself a favor and find out beforehand what you must do, how you must do it, and don't start on a big scale, start small. Uh, maybe 50 geese and see if it suits you, your personality and your circumstances. If it does and you like it after a year, yeah, then you can expand. And then it's actually quite easy to expand on a quite large scale. Uh, because if you do things correctly, you'll have many eggs, you'll have them breeding, you'll have many chickens, many goslings, and your business can expand successfully. But do attend the course, a course, read about it. Uh, if you are in South Africa, you could come to Nuisport Guest Farm near Stateville in the Eastern Cape. We normally have a weekend course, very short and precise. And we will then cover everything that you need to know about geese farming. Things like feeding, breeding, management, uh, disease control, etc. That is all covered. So maybe I'll see you there. Thanks.